Hi, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for watching and commenting on my videos. Do you know the man's role and most important responsibilities in dating and relationships? Just like your job, it's critical to understand what your responsibilities are in your relationship if you want to succeed and rise to a top level position. Today we'll go over the roles and responsibilities a man needs to take on if he wants to succeed in creating a balanced, long-lasting, loving relationship. I'll warn you right up front, these suggestions may sound sexist and old-fashioned. Women today can and do ask men on dates, pay for their own needs, call to follow up, and they take on the planning and many of the other roles that men traditionally held. The problem with that is we have thousands of years of genetic programming that gets in the way of these modern role shifts and it creates dissatisfaction for both the man and the woman in that relationship dynamic. In our workplace, it's nice to have the help sometimes when we're feeling overwhelmed, but we don't want somebody else to do our job for us. That not only takes away our purpose, but it keeps us from growing, learning, and moving forward in our career. The same thing happens to men when they allow the woman to carry the weight of the relationship while they go along for the ride. When a man is actively engaged in achieving a goal, he feels best about himself. Look at this set of tasks a man should perform when dating, the same as selling a high dollar product to an important business client using sentient sales techniques. Let's go over the five steps to sentient dating that will help you to create a happy, long-lasting relationship. Number one, pursue the date. Just as a salesman must network, reach out to clients, and schedule appointments, a man should approach a variety of women and when he finds someone compatible, get her phone number and make a date with her. Like a prospective client, a woman appreciates being pursued in a polite, gentlemanly manner with the hope that the man can meet her needs. Number two, find ways to connect and listen more than you talk. During a sales call, the salesman needs to quickly find common ground to establish rapport with the client. Then he should ask open-ended questions to find out as much as possible about the client and her needs so he can determine how his product can solve her problems. The same is true for a man on a date. What clues can you observe about her that shows you have a shared interest or something you both know about and like? It could be as simple as asking, do you like portobello mushrooms? They have a great appetizer here that I'd love to share with you. Keep in mind that a woman may ask you questions to get to know you as well. What she's demonstrating is what she likes. Answer her question briefly, then ask her similar questions and listen to her closely. Once you have this skill in place, you can level up by inserting compliments before each question. Asking a question after giving a compliment helps a woman to graciously receive the compliment rather than shrugging it off. From this more receptive place, she can begin to share herself by answering your question. For example, you can begin by asking a woman, what was the most enjoyable part of your day today? That open-ended question will help her focus on the positive things in her life and allow her to share those with you. Then you can come back with a compliment about the things she mentioned, such as, you have such a wonderful attitude about life. And then follow that up with another related question, maybe, how do you maintain balance between work and personal time? By finishing a compliment with a question, a man gives the clear message that he continues to be interested. When a man combines compliments with questions, a woman gets the reassurance she needs to continue to share herself with him. Men are happiest when a woman reveals herself through sharing, while women enjoy carrying the conversation as long as they feel a man is interested. Number three, take care of her needs. 
When a salesman can take care of small problems for his client, he will then be trusted with bigger problems. When you perform small acts of service with an attitude of confidence, a woman will be attracted and want to spend time with you as she begins to trust that you can meet her needs. Focus on her desires and how you can provide for her throughout your date together, and she will be flattered, happy, and begin to think of you as somebody special. Single women's most common complaint about dating is that men are too focused on themselves. It's natural to want to impress a woman with your credentials and experience. However, the best way to make a lasting impression is to provide wonderful service, such as opening doors, helping her with her coat and chair, making sure she's safe and comfortable, and asking about what she likes so you can get it for her. When you do these things for a woman, she feels cared for, and you will feel confident and satisfied that you can meet her needs. Think about a time when you received amazing customer service and great attention from a waiter or hotel staff. How did that make you feel? I know it makes me feel special and as if I'm getting my money's worth, and I will want to return for more. When you give a woman the things she wants and needs without her having to ask, she will feel important to you and that you are definitely worth her time. Number four, make and execute plans. A good salesman will solve the client's problem and take care of the details so the client can focus on her own business. Women love a man with a plan. A woman is most attracted to a man when he is confident, purposeful, and responsible. When she knows he has a plan and is taking care of the details, she can relax and feel assured that she will get what she needs and she can focus on having a good time. When you have planned out a date, you'll be more confident because you'll know all the details and can lead the way. For me, I don't mind being involved in the planning, but I want the man to do the bulk of it. If we're going hiking or fishing, for instance, I want to know what to wear and what accommodations will be available. But I don't want to worry about how we'll get there, if we need to pay for parking, what extra equipment we might need, or what and where we'll eat. If I have to plan all of that, I'd rather just stay home. During such a trip, I would be pleased if the man asked about my comfort and offered water, sunscreen, or other useful items. And that would tell me that he thought ahead and cared that I was having a nice time with him. Number five, follow through and follow up. Not only does a good salesman make sure that his product is delivered, he always follows up with his client after the sale, making sure she is satisfied and asking her for future business. A man needs to follow through and follow up after every date in the same manner. When you have a date with a woman, be on time, deliver on any promises you've made, and behave as a gentleman. That means appreciate the time you spend with her without expecting anything in return. If she chooses to give you another date or any physical affection, consider it a bonus for going above and beyond her expectations. The day after the date, call to thank her and ask if she enjoyed herself and allow her to tell you the things she liked and how she felt. This conversation is important and leads to a better, more profitable future for you. When you follow the five steps to sentient dating, you'll find that each date will give you the opportunity to grow in becoming more confident, purposeful, and responsible. Because those are the three most attractive things a woman wants in a man, dating will be easier and more fun than ever before. Let me know if you have used the sentient dating techniques or tell me if you have a difficult situation that you would like help to solve. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up. Then, subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side